wondered why most areas in Chicago are so run down. Well, this might just explain that. This video shows what it's like for a white man to live in Chicago. Well, 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 my man is just sitting there, watching them jump on what might be his car. And that was when he probably realized why he got the house for so cheap. <laughs> Chicago, guys, that's Chicago for you. And again, this is what people interpret as black culture. This should be a disgrace to the black community. Why do we even engage in these kind of things? Why these kind of activities? I do not know if the next part of this video is going to be appropriate to be aired on YouTube because I can clearly see a tampon dangling from inside a girl's skirt. Well, I'll risk it and show it to you guys. Ratchet behavior. Lack of home training. Just imagine the moral depravity being portrayed here. But I'm not surprised though, because I have been seeing this kind of behavior among black people for years. It is truly appalling. Now, if anything unfortunate were to happen to these people, their mothers will be in the news talking about how they were good kids and how they were just hanging out with their friends. This is what you get when you take fathers away from a household. This is also what you get when both parents abandon their kids to fend for themselves. The black family needs to go back to its roots. Yes, they need to become conservative again. Our grandparents' pattern proved to be the best. Why are we abandoning it? The black people of old times had staunch conservative values, stayed together as parents and reared their children together. But nowadays, the pattern is now history. Black fathers are abandoning their children, making black women single mothers, who are in most cases dependent on the government handouts for survival. And then the kids are left without fathers who were supposed to, you know, instill discipline and strong moral values in them. I am tired of saying, well, well, well. Black people need to advise themselves because it is high time we do so. Have you not asked yourself why it's always black people doing these kind of things over and over and over again? Always the same people. It's as though they can't help themselves. They have to always behave irresponsibly. I have never seen Asian people doing this. I have never seen Hispanic people repeatedly engaging in this kind of nonsense. I never see white people repeatedly clowning themselves over and over again like this. It is always black people. Always. Once you look up this behavior on the internet, you are sure to find hundreds of videos of black people disgracing themselves over there. This is extremely disappointing and it really needs to stop. Behaviors like this are ruining us. People are fed up with this nonsense. From carjacking, to store theft, to gangbangers, to drugs. Now this. That white guy in the neighborhood wasn't even surprised at this sordid behavior. Because I'm assuming he might have seen worse displays from them. He wasn't even surprised at all. But I know he's disappointed nonetheless. This is so embarrassing to watch. And people are trolling black people in the comment section of this video. Somebody said, I just saw the same thing at Lincoln Park Zoo. Equating black people to animals. I don't blame him. I don't blame the commenter. Another person wrote, how many times can we say well, well, well? I don't know. That's what I'm asking too. No need for television. You can watch National Geographic outside your door. Wow. Look, I don't want people to start thinking that the comments are racist because they are not. The comments are literally addressing the people based on their behavior. We have to start doing better. It is high time. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you agree with me or you have maybe disagreeing opinions, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share this video. And as you do that, please do not forget that I do not know much. I just speak. <laughs>